Hi there, I hope you're doing well today. Today is going to be day 10 of You Got This, the mental health series for anyone who is following me. Thank you very much. Um, but for anyone who's new, this is a mental health series that we're conducting for the, that I'm conducting for the May, um, month of May. And since mo the month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and um, I, as well as a lot of people that I know, um, suffer from mental health from time to time. Um, sad, depressed, uh, I suffer from anxiety sometimes. I know that it's because the lesions that I have in my brain due to multiple sclerosis. However, whatever the case may be, even if you don't have a diagnosis, uh, most of the time life can be hard, can get difficult, and we can get into our emotions and they can go south, those emotions, if you know what I'm talking about. Either way, uh, today is day 10 for those who are following me. Thank you once again. And for those who are new, what I do is I read this passage and uh, there's a scripture, Bible scripture. Uh, this is uh, with God in mind. Uh, so either way, I'm going to go ahead and get started with day 10. No take backs is the uh, day 10's title. Pain and disappointment may be a part of your story, but they don't have to be the end We've all made mistakes and been knocked down by unforeseen circumstances, but there's always hope. The Bible makes it very clear that your destiny is not determined by your past, but rather whom you trust for your future. God knows exactly how to take the broken pieces of our lives and give them meaning. Okay, now the Bible verse is, Romans eleven twenty nine, for God's gifts and his call are irrevocable. So the first uh, question uh, for the activity, so we do an activity, uh, three questions. Uh, you can do them on a small piece of paper, on your notepad, something you're going to throw away or something you're going to keep if you would like. This is your choice. This is personal. Um, so the first question is, are there things in your past that make you feel unworthy of God's love? Explain your answer. Two, number two, ask the Holy Spirit to show you how he's, uh, how he sees, excuse me, I'm going to start again. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you how he sees these situations and you write down what he reveals to you. Number three, find three scriptures that say who you are in Christ and commit them to memory. Use these to replace the enemy's lies with the truth of God's word. Now, I know it takes some time and it takes a little meditation and reflection, um, but it has really helped me this this series and many other things that i do like speaking to god on a daily basis praying meditating walking jogging exercising that really helps me please find what helps you and what works for you um but i hope that these uh these videos are helping you as well and uh there's more to come so thank you for watching and tuning in have a wonderful day goodbye